subscribe, like, and share. Remember to click the bell, please. Watch our playlist again so as to grasp the continuous stream of podcast and refresh your mind. Good evening, good morning, bonsoir. We're not conscious to investors in North and South America. Ohio, good day, Mr. And you're not saying, go to Zhao Chen. Good morning to investors in Asia. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Good night, good night to investors in Europe and Africa. I'm Daniel Yu speaking from Hong Kong. It's 21st November here and 20th November in Wall Street. This week, I have four points to talk about. Number one is the watershed of S&P and Nasdaq. Number two is reverse repurchasing agreement, RRP, of the Federal Reserve. Number three, buying of individual stocks. Number four, international happenings. Firstly, let's look at the heat map chart of S&P 500. The first chart is the seven-day chart. Red and green intersect each other and thus means the market is in a mix. The future direction is not clear. And when we turn to the 30-day chart, it's an all-green chart. It's a chart of joyous green. So what happens in the past 30 days? We have to refer to the candlestick chart. This is the S&P 6 months chart. When we come back 30 days, it is here, which is 10th of October. We can clearly see there's a big white candlestick two days later. What's it? It's the announcement of CPI. In this chart, please make clear the September CPI is announced on 12th of October at 8.2%. And October CPI is announced on 10th of November of 7.7%. In this chart, it's here. Very easy to find out. Another big candlestick having a jumping gap upward and broke the previous high. Mind that the pullback is already finished and now it's heading upward. The resistance is a Fibonacci retracement of 0.18. So, it is at the junction of continuing the rebound and starting off the reverse. Let's will the market from another angle. I want to point out one thing that individual investors always mix up. That is Nasdaq Composite and Nasdaq 100. The high of Nasdaq Composite is at 22nd of November 2021 of 1621223 on the same day nasdaq 100 was at the high of 16764.86 the bear market definition is a drop of 20 percent from the high so nasdaq composite should drop 3242.44 points which is at 12969.79 and nasdaq 100 should be 3352.97 points at 13411.89. So what happened on that day is 24th of February, the beginning of the Russian-Ukraine conflict. Don't call it a war or else you will be jailed. Actually, the day had a single day turn. It dropped deep down and rebounded up for all bad news knowledge for months had come out and people wish the fighting can be ended in 48 hours, a new government will be formed to replace the Kiev government in 72 hours as what Russia said, or at least will finish very soon. But today is already the 271st day. There is a daily count in the US Stock Express. Anyway, when dropping through the watershed does not mean it will go strictly downward. It still will shuttle up and down for a while and needs confirmation. On 10th May, after the Memorial Day of victory in Moscow, there was no sign of stopping. So I proclaim by the crafts of Divine Comedy of Dante, abandon ye all hope will enter. This is the gate of hell. Of course, that day is lower than the watershed, but after the bottom is reached on 13th October, no need to wait for the price to go back to the level of 12969.79 of Nasdaq Composite 
or 13411.89 of Nasdaq 100 for week confirmation of bull market. Why? Because a rise of 20% from the low is the entering of bull market. It is another new calculation. So we start again to count at the bottom. On 13th October, the lowest point of Nasdaq Composite was 10088.83 and a rise of 20% will be 2017.76 points at 1210659. Nasdaq 100 will be 10440.64 and the rise of 20% will be 2088.128 points at 12528.768. Still a certain way to go. However, Nasdaq is forming a pullback of the reverse head and shoulders. What we should mind most is the depth of the pullback, which is at sight now and not the rebound level like 0 0.618 or whatsoever or Fibonacci series but still have to mind the recession of next year. Even inflation is controlled, but its aftermath is the fall of property market, and the outcome will be shown next year. As for Dow Jones, I'll talk about in the next video. So, traditional candlesticks are defined as white and black sticks. That is basically two kinds of candlesticks. Is it? Oh. My God, it is an outdated concept of last century. Please watch carefully the candlestick charts I have been using. Every time they consist of four kinds of candlesticks, it has been changed for decades. But a lot of people still stick to the old concept. Please refer to my series of 14 teaching videos, especially in A5, A6 and A7. They are equipped with certain tests to evaluate yourself and also electronic handouts to view the topic from another angle. Don't be left behind by the error. Please chase up the latest trend in Wall Street instead of using the concept of several decades ago to invest in the market of today. We will also have our worldwide seminar with person-to-person -person psychological analysis. In February, it's the Almaty of Kazakhstan and in July is Toronto of Canada. So we go to the second topic now, which is reverse repurchase agreement. RRP of the Fed. Repurchase agreement is a short-term borrowing where two parties agree to the sale and future repurchase of securities. It encourages other banks to store their excess cash with the federal bank during the high levels of inflation in the economy so that the banks can earn more returns on their excess fund. And we can see the Fed releases such funds to the market. The turning point is at 30th September 2022, where it holds most cash at 2425 trillion US dollar and now it's lowered it to 2114 trillion. That means institutional buying has already started but still at a limited level mind that if it goes down to break the level of 2000 trillion we need to take care for the third topic of individual stock when viewing recent buying the most famous is warren buffet used 4.1 billion dollar to buy tsm in the third quarter of this year Mind that Buffet always keeps about 10 billion cash in hand and ready to purchase. This year, he used to purchase every time when Dow Jones drops a thousand points in a single day. A lot of people wished to follow him, but should know our capital is much smaller than his. No problem. Easy. Even if we are unable to follow his amount, we can follow his ratio. Shall we follow him to buy TSM? Load and behold. When after buying TSM, you still have 16% cash in your hand, then go, go, go. Besides knowing what Buffet has purchased, we should know what he has sold. 
for BYDDY, he has just took profit because the delivery is already over 3 million cars. This is a threat to Tesla and that's why Tesla dropped greatly when facing such a competition. Buffet is famous for earning multi-fold profits for long-term investment. That is, it holds stocks for 20 to 30 years and the profit is tremendous. But his age is 92 now. So whether you would like to follow him depends on your own. But you still can buy the BRK.B. It is simpler. The Nasdaq Golden Dragon Index has been falling for years, but I've told investors to keep away from all Chinese concepts except BYDDY. Now proved correct. Hallelujah. And Mitabaha. Allahu Akbar. So, the last topic is on international happenings. There's a start this week. That is Xi Jinping of China. He met 14 leaders this week. 11 in G20 and 4 in APEC. And of course, the most important one is Biden C meeting. C, of course, gained some progress in the basket of meetings, but Biden tightened the sanction of chips immediately on the following day. The Commerce Department announced that Yangtze memory and 13 enterprises of China will be blacklisted effective from 6th December. So they cannot buy U.S. product and U.S. staff cannot work for them. Xi also took one step backward. In the next two years, China will not attack Taiwan until the end of the term of Biden and Xi who will be the next president. So no need to worry over the TSM factory in Taiwan and China, the Apple, Tesla and other production chains in China these two years. But the production of chips in China will be limited to 28 nm. Those who trade Chinese stocks should mind the related effects. However, so many Thai sanctions will even affect the American chip business until new factories in Japan, Korea and Taiwan are built in US. As for Russian Ukraine conflict, the G20 is like the memorial victory day of Russia in May, when passed silently means it had to prolong the fighting for a certain period. The market of the coming week is expected to run in a narrow range, just like silence before a hurricane. Some important days must be marked down in your calendar. That is before the result of the Fed rate decision on 14th December, GDP will be announced on 30th November. PCE on 1st December, Employment Report on 2nd December, CPI on 13th December. The Federal Reserve is again hawkish. When everyone aims at a wake-up of 50 points in December, they said they would still consider 75 base points. So fasten seat belt, please. World Soccer Cup normally will make the stock transaction weaker and investors should account for it. Let's stop here. Sayonara, auf Wiedersehen, adieu, bye bye. See you next week.